so I just wanted to show you real quick how the oil bypass valve in the oil filter works so this is a standard uh, oil filter that I changed on my car recently and if this is a normal socket exten extensioner so just take it down here and it's not easy to see but you might see the movement there so if you look from the top you can actually see how the filter inside the housing is moving and that is the functionality of the oil bypass valve now I'm going to cut this open so you can see how it looks uh, a little bit better hopefully as you see the same filter as before but I cut a section out of it and the functionality is normally then that oil comes in here uh, flows down the wall here through the filter into the middle and is picked up by the engine uh, in that and going to lubricate the engine but in the bottom here you can see there's a spring I'm gonna see if I can remove it and then you see here that the filter can move up and down not much but enough to make the oil flow down through the intake holes and just pass the seal here and directly into the engine so that's uh, and that happens when um, you push the engine uh, either during high revolutions or when the oil is cool or when this filter is uh, full of debris so that's why it's good to maybe consider adding additional protection to your engine as uh, a magnetic oil plug because what the magnetic oil plug then do is to pick up the debris it can reach uh, before it goes into the oil filter and uh, that at least saves a little bit for the engine. Since I already were, were halfway there I decided to show you the full uh, cutaway so I sliced the housing in half now and uh, you can see it moves a little bit up and down and that's the spring or the valve and you can see in the bottom here there is uh, here's where the spring is seated and then uh, up here is the washer no the, the seal if I take that away you can see even clearer how it moves up and down